Ugh. A little tired. Hi, sorry. Hello. Monday. Looking back on Friday, who knew that today was going to happen? Eventually, but I didn't think this quick. But here we are. Sitting in my chair with a strained neck because I sleep stupidly. Here we go with continuing our traipsing through the states of the United Americas with Florida. Wonderful, wonderful Florida. Um, very much known, at least on the internet, the past couple of years for Florida Man stories, which honestly isn't really uh, a sign that Florida's weird compared to the other states. It's just that they have different um, state laws, like the Sunshine State Law, I believe, or the Sunshine Law or something like that. I forget exactly what it's called, but it just basically means that um, all like criminal or all like reports through crimes or something. I don't know the exact wording. I just know that there is a instant uncensored like link between crimes and announce like the 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 fuck. Okay, let's start again. That there is zero like censorship or like prevention of news going from arrests or whatnot straight to news sources. So a lot of the times weird ass shit that you're like, man, what the fuck's happening in Florida? It really isn't much different from other places. It just happens that the state of Florida is very uh free and open, I believe you could say, with their oh, that's a terrible image. With their Information laws compared to other places. All right, here we go. And the problem with Florida, let's see, we're we're near a coast. Is I mean, other than I just don't like it. I've been there once, um, with a friend to wherever. I think we're outside of Tampa, and it's hot. It's humid. Every day at noon, it rains. It's flat, hot, and just, just unenjoyable oceanfront. So if you don't know much about Florida, here it is. It's the dangle on the U.S., um, where some people call New Jersey the armpit of America. Florida would be the dick. Um, it ain't great. I don't like it. Looking at Wikipedia, its economy is the fourth largest in the U.S. If it actually was its own country itself, it would be the 16th largest, which is kind of crazy. It's the flattest state. It's home to the uh, most populous municipality and the largest city in the contiguous United States. And that's Jacksonville. Um, it, it spans a huge area. Chases on the beach. Give me a fucking... Like, um, South Atlanta. I have no idea what I'm. I'm gonna assume it's West Palm Beach, but honestly, I have no idea. It says that we're on. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's so much to pay attention. There's Mar-a-Lago. If you've heard it all the time of the news, it's right there, right off the coast. If you're wondering where that was when you hear about all the uh, uh, political conferences. I guess. There's a better meeting, summits, whatever you want to call it. That's where they're happening. They're in Florida. A lot of Florida is exactly the same. You're going to see it like this. No income tax here it is also the place every old person goes to retire. Mainly because that's a garbage photo. It's uh, warm. Old people, when given the option and have the ability to afford to do so, will move. Two warmer climates. Ocean view. Is that... My other guess is, isn't ocean view actual town on the coast? Okay, yeah, I was, I was just going to go look. Oh, we're on New Smyrna Beach. I was never going to get that. Much like uh, Delaware, unless I get a very good score, I'm uh, 
or like get really good highway signs, I'm gonna have a bad score. Kind of like this right here, which is going to help me, I believe. Opaloka Boulevard, 916. Um, this looks to be a very large metropolitan area. Problem is, here we go. This is what I needed. Florida Turnpike, I-95 North. There's 95. I feel that we're outside of one of these biggins. 826. So there's 836. There's 826. We're in Miami. So I'm going to go back up and I'm going to hit home just so I have a sense of where I am. So this sign right here actually might help me a bit more. Miami is a very dense city. There's a lot of Cubans within Miami, or in Florida in general. Uh, interesting stories with us being like, hey, we'll take some Cubans, and then Castro's like, all right, take all our criminals. But you can watch Scarface for... Uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, artistic license. With that stuff, 916. All right, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm going to click here just so I'm not going to forget because that still haunts me. Okay, there's 916. All right, so quarter mile to that, 922. Um, Is that 922? No. But if you're looking for, I guess, suggestions for... If this is a good place. Okay, there's 932, a place to actually go visit. I, not a fan. As I mentioned before, I mean, they also have Cape Canaveral's here. Uh, you got Disney Land, if you like that garbage, right outside Orlando. Um, they have so much stuff. They're the largest freshwater lake, Lake Okeechobee. Uh, Everglades is a massive area. You got the Keys down here. You got pretty close to the Bahamas. It's, uh, depending on the time of year you go, you can get some hurricanes. Those are terrifying, and I never want to deal with it. Um, hurricanes ain't fun. Uh, where I live right now, we get, uh, maybe once every... Two, maybe three years. We'll get the remnants of a hurricane as it hits the Atlantic coast and then kind of just up and we'll just get some rain. But um, I think the entire time I've been alive, we might have gotten a, what was it, tropical depression, which is what the next step below hurricanes are. Um, but... I don't want to live down here, and I don't understand people that do, just being like, hey, it's hurricane time, let's leave the state, cross our fingers, our home's still here when we get back, and just being like, okay. And even then, I don't think, I know that there's flood insurance, I'm pretty sure there's hurricane insurance, but I'm sure it's extremely high premium rates, because you're definitely going to have to pay out in uh, insurance premiums, or what a payout for an insurance company. It's like an inevitability when you're uh, living in a place where it's just going to get hurricanes all the time. It's kind of like living in the Midwest here, where it's you just know that there's going to be uh, tornadoes. No thank you. But I hope you enjoyed your interesting look at major fucking... I was off by six. Major thoroughfares, but they're sound baffling, so you can't very well hear the... Uh, vehicles, but I'm sure you can still to some extent. Oh boy. They found a shitty, shitty image. So I'm hopefully clicking fast as I can to actually get out of this road. And, whoa. Get a better photo. <clears throat> I think I've mentioned this before in the uh, time that I've spent in Florida. The uh, roads here, I always thought when I was a kid, I never understood how people can fall asleep on the roads, but 
driving on highways in Florida, I get it. It's straight. It's flat. Nothing changes. All right, here's here's hoping this gets to a better resolution, and it did. Thank you, Jesus. But this is kind of what Florida looks like outside the cities, from what I've seen. It's kind of trashy. I mean, I'm really. This is coming from somebody who really doesn't give a shit about this state. Uh, there's going to be people, people who love Florida. There's going to be amazing things you can do. You can go to Disney World. Some people like that. I can't imagine being in a park with that many people, even on a slow day, spending that much money. The Baha'is of Citrus County. Now, I don't know the counties, but I'm going to feel we're in this area. But I've got... No idea. I'm hopefully finding a, like, root sign somewhere here as we go. Um, so, enough garbage talk about Florida. I'll touch base on some other stuff here. Um, first off, thanks again for watching. Continue support. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Watch a few things. Open to the public. Huh? Well, what do you sell? Oh, it's the beef place. Um. This is the format we got going for GeoGuessr stuff three times a week. Monday I'm doing states alphabetically and made it all the way through the Fs. We have on Wednesdays kind of just whatever. Okay, I thought that would have been a root sign, but didn't get it. And then Fridays it's whatever, or if someone suggests a map, that's when I usually do it. Termites, no thank you. Is this a root sign or a speed limit it's a speed limit um still currently playing through BattleTech. that's still hmm, at least a couple of times a week at this point i've not recorded any more for this next week but i know i'll still be doing it and uh what did i do this weekend well where last week i finished the year goal of doing a uh, mountain a month. I finished the other thing of doing a book a month, and I finished this book pretty, pretty quick. It was a pretty enjoyable one. Uh, I think it was called Northlands, where it's a guy travels the entire border between America and Canada. Um, pretty interesting. Give it a read. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to. Well, I kind of did think I'd be able to get through the entire year reading books the only one that kind of got me a little concerned was uh <clears throat> i'm gonna get a terrible score here because i have no idea where this is actually i'm gonna click over here and make guess i was closer on the uh first place but whatever if i had any suggestions for books that i read this year that i enjoyed very much um uh, Midnight in Chernobyl was a really good book. Um, I know that it's obviously about a very exhaustive and thorough uh, retelling of the uh, Chernobyl disaster and what went to it, um, what caused it, the things that happened during it. It was a very good read. I mean, it got a little too uh, descriptive, like granular but overall i very much enjoyed it uh, i want to see if the sign might say exactly where we are but i doubt it let's take a look yep okay uh, another good book i know that i dogged on it a bit when i was reading it master and margarita but after finishing it i was like eh, i kind of liked it it's a uh russian book uh what is this? Korean, huh? Koreatown, maybe. That's a cool structure. Hmm. Greenwich, Greenwich Park. Apartments. That doesn't help me. We're near a school. I think. Yeah, but this is probably, probably going to be like the name of a person, not like the town we're in. Yeah, Weingard. 
all children learning whatever it takes. That's a, uh, sounds like a threat. Um, but it's about a, uh, basically like demons or the devil, whatever you want to call it, coming into a town and just wreaking havoc. And this woman named Margarita, who basically becomes a witch. It's a strange book, but definitely enjoyed my time reading it. Northland's a good book, like I said. Um, Neil Gaiman's Norse Mythology was a pretty good one. Um, oh, God, what was the name of that book? Ancillary Justice was pretty good. I'm not getting anything here. Sand Lake, um, it may say... Oh, Orange County or Citrus County. It's a whole lot of nothing here, and I really was hoping I'd see like a highway or a route sign here, but I'm not. Fontana. So this is how badly I'm going to do. Is I'm just clicking along, hopefully seeing like, oh, this is whatever town for like a business. Northern Tool and Equipment. There, this is the southernmost state in the contiguous United States. How is this? Uh... Boot the DMV. That's not helping. Hmm. <clears throat> Anything over here? Nope. Man, put your routes or highway signs on here so you could help me out a little bit. Sand Lake Road. Um, please, just give me a, we're near a highway type sign, 30 seconds to go, Florida Mall, fucking, thanks for being so descriptive. Sand Lake Road, nope. Well, I gotta make a guess. Orlando, okay, thank you. I'm going to click, like, over here. I saw fucking three minutes and 50 seconds of just garbage, and then I finally see something that says Orlando. Oh, God, this just looks so hot and uncomfortable. Well, we're near water, which doesn't help me, because all but one side of the state is essentially touching water. Um, the sign here. Come on, Stein Hutchy Place Resort. Um, oh, they ran out of D's, so they use P's. <laughs> I love when thing signs do that. They got to improvise. But there's all I've pretty much done all the things I wanted to do this year. The uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. The album a week, that's something I've still, I've only got two weeks left and I've pretty much got it a uh, set and ready to go. That one's not much of a challenge, but just something I enjoy doing and just making sure that I do it. I have very much cut down after my headphones busted, so now the only thing I've got are Bluetooth. My podcast listening has dramatically cut down. And just kind of been replaced with music. Also, what I'm doing for work now very much uh, prevents me from listening to more than, like, one podcast a day. Like, there'd be days where I could get through all eight hours nonstop just listening. But now, it's like a high tide house. Looks very weird there. But now, if there's just one that's, like, two hours, it'll take me six to get through it. I'm a little bummed because, I mean, there's a lot of podcasts to listen to that I enjoy that were like seasonal and they've been off season and I'm probably going to forget uh, when new stuff comes back and I haven't bothered like subscribing. So I'll probably remember, but it's also a good thing like maybe six months from now being like, oh shit. And then going to find out that the season's been going for a couple of months so I don't have to wait between episodes because I 
kind of hate that. I like just listening to it all at once or in big chunks instead of having to wait week for week for week for things. I like how it says, it looks like it's air quotes, free padlock. I don't think I'd want a padlock from the company where it's like, here, have this, but we have the combination, so we can very much go in and take whatever we want if we wanted to. Okay, I don't know where Steinhetchy River is, and that's kind of what I'm very much stuck on. Is Kiss that's a Kissimmee? This is Steinhatchy. Nope. I'm just assuming it's like attached to the um Okeechobee, but eh. No, this wasn't it. That's the Kissimmee. What river is this? It's nothing. Got 30 seconds. We were near water. That was the... Not that. Hmm. What's this? That's just probably a dam or a causeway. This one was... No river. I got 10 seconds. Shit, fuck, damn. Um, I'm gonna say... I'm just gonna guess, like, here. No. Um, it's gonna be way off. I ran out of time and panic. Terrible. Steinhatchy. If I scroll out, I gotta be, like, this close to see it. That's just fucking awful. And... The score matches. Uh, well, if you haven't noticed a trend with me in being able to do um, places in my country, like states that are extremely similar in topography and land, like there's very little change, and my inability to actually find major routes, very much shows how terrible I am at guessing places, but that's one of the reasons why I keep doing this, is hopefully I'll get better. But anyway, folks, as always, thank you for watching. If you could, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your sisters, tell me any thoughts, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, anything you want. Go ahead, put them in there. I'll look at them and get back to you. Your Monday's done. You have my blessing. Go out into the world and prosper. I'll see you later.